It is one of the duties of the Sisters of the Convent Santanco to remind people that it is more blessed to give than to receive. It seems that very few could afford to be blessed anymore. Still, did that discourage Sister Batril? I'm sorry to say, it did. No soup. That soap, sister, and no clothes for the kids either. Well, we got a donation of sea grapes. Oh, with this stirring response, no wonder we're a nonprofit organization. I've had so many doors closed in my face, I'm lucky I don't have splinters in my nose. <laughs> At one house, all I did was stop and ask for directions that the lady said they already gave. Oh. Lemonade, sisters? Oh, oh, yes, that'd be wonderful. Thank you. Lemonade was your punch of spot. That would be Thank five you. cents, please. Well, Fernando, your arithmetic. How much is three times two? Six cents, but for the clergy, I give a discount. Oh, well, I'll we'll have to do that. <laughs> Soon I'll make enough money to buy a baseball glove. And you'll enjoy it all the more, Fernando, because you earned it yourself. Sisters, that's what we need. Hmm? What for do we need a baseball glove? No. We need to earn our own way. We should be going around with our heads up instead of our hands out. I don't follow you. Why, it's simple. The convent is going into business, that's all. <laughs> Plumbers? I don't suppose we could be plumbers. No, our cornets would never fit under the sink. Somehow, I don't think the Reverend Mother would take too kindly to our wearing coveralls. I don't think Reverend Mother is going to like this whole business of our going into business. Sister Anna, hasn't the Reverend Mother always put the good of the order above everything else? And besides, by the time she gets back from Rio Piedras, we'll already be in production. Oh, it'd be nice to buy new clothes for the children. Mm. New is better than hand me outs. Downs. <laughs> Ups, downs, outs, they're all the same, and we're through with them. From now on, we're self sustaining. We're in business. <laughs> but what business? <laughs> Propellers, protective coatings, psychiatrists. I don't know. All the best ones seem to be taken. Maybe we're approaching this in the wrong way. We should be looking for a business that no one else is in. Therefore, we have a ready-made demand for our product. I've got it. What is it? It's been staring us in the face all along. What? what? The nectar of Santanco. The nectar of Santanco? Sea grape juice. I've never seen it in the market. I've never seen it advertised. I've never even heard from it. You're going to hear from it now. Maybe you have something there. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Sister Jacqueline. Hmm? You're eating into profits. It's very nice to see you, Louise. You don't come in from our receiver that often. With all the new hotels and restaurants opening up, uh, I am much occupied supplying them with food. You know, one of these days I'm going to take my boat to your part of the island and have a look at the whole operation. Carlos, wait till you hear. Sister Bertrand, can't you see I'm busy? When will you learn to knock? Well, if I'd have knocked, you'd have said, who is it? And I would have said, Sister Bertrill, and you would have said, come in. And since you're so busy, you should be pleased I'm saving you time. How can you argue with that kind of logic? <laughs> this is Sister Bertrand, Luis Fierro. I am most honored, Sister. How do you do? Uh, sister, what can I do for you today, even though the answer is already no? It's not what you can do for me, it's what I can do for you. That's a switch. Carlos, since you've been so good to us, such a kind and generous friend to Santanko. How much is going to cost me this time? Not one thin dime. We've decided to give you absolutely free, exclusive distribution rights. Distribution rights? For what? 
I can't tell you. It's still in the planning stages, and we wouldn't want word to leak out. But we wouldn't think of coming to anyone else but you. Uh, sister, what do I want with exclusive distribution rights to something I know nothing about? Well, I'll tell you this much. The convent is coming out with a sensational product. You already have one. Religion. Besides that, something that could be packaged, something the world has been waiting for. Look, sister... Carlos, you don't have to show me your appreciation now. We'll work out the details later. I don't want to work out any details. I don't want anything to do with this. You mean you want me to go someplace else? <laughs> Frankly, yes. Okay, but remember, Carlos, opportunity only knocks once. Well, at least it knocks. <laughs> Okay, don't come crying to me when you find out you blew a gold mine. Bye. Just a minute, sister. If Carlos is not interested, perhaps I am. Always be careful what you are saying. But surely, if you can't trust a nun, <laughs> whom can you trust? Well, you don't know this convent as I do. These are not ordinary nuns. Still, there's something very imaginative about this proposition. Other authors have successfully gone into business. I knew would be willing to accept exclusive distribution rights to whatever it is, sight unseen. I would. All right. Provided that it's a marketable product, we'll go 50-50. <laughs> Done. Oh, you won't be sorry. I'm sure we won't. Well, at least if we are, this time I'll only have to be half sorry. <laughs> I do not understand, sister. You wish to buy my cigarettes? Your whole crop. But nobody ever wanted to buy the whole crop before. Oh, it makes me so happy to hear that. You'll deliver, of course. Of course, as soon as they are paid for. Uh, well, you'll get your money on the 10th of the month. But, uh, sister, that is not customary. It's obvious you've never dealt with big business before. Well, I am just a small farm. Yes, well, in big business, everything is paid on the 10th of the month. Uh, I don't know, sister. Well, I'll let you in on a little secret. Uh, you know Senor Carlos Ramirez? The casino owner? Yes, well, you see, he has an interest in our business. Carlos Ramirez? Yes, now do you doubt that you'll get your money? Me? Doubt the word of a sister? Now, don't forget, the 10th of the month. I will not forget, sister. What we didn't know about making sea grape juice, <laughs> pardon me, the nectar of Santanco, would fill a book. It certainly filled our basement. I can't believe we're actually in business. We're in business till the 10th of the month. Oh, we'll have the money. For the sea grapes, the sugar, the bottle? And the equipment rental. And we'll have enough money left over for our work with the kids. These niños would like to lend a helping foot. Ah. <laughs> Come on, then. Okay, take up your shoes. Come on in, the juice is fine. Ah. Ah. <laughs> what is going on in here? Reverend Mother, welcome home. Have we got a surprise for you? Sister Bertrill, I wish to see you in my office. Immediately. So you see, Reverend Mother, with a business of our own, we can shift for ourselves and be beholden to no one. You present a strong case, Sister Bertrill. But I would have preferred that you consult with me first. But, Reverend Mother, there wasn't time. In the world of big business, you have to charge when the moment is ripe. I see. And the moment was ripe? The moment and the grapes. <laughs> oh, dear. And to think that when I was away, all I had to worry about was your flying. Well, I've got both feet on the ground this time, Reverend Mother. A little purple, but on the ground. <laughs> if only my faith could match your enthusiasm. Oh, Reverend Mother, believe me. We know what we're doing. Well, you saw our assembly line. Detroit couldn't have set it up any better. <laughs> I admit, things did seem to be running rather smoothly. Oh, smoothly isn't the word for it. Sister Bertrille, come quickly. I told you smoothly wasn't the word for it. Excuse me. <laughs> Where are more buckets? The others are looking. I took the mop out of this one. Oh. What happened? Oh, the spigot oh, broke. Oh, it's Niagara Falls and sea grapes. Oh, 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 o
certain that Detroit couldn't set this up somewhat better. Now, Reverend Mother, you mustn't let a little setback keep you from seeing the value of the whole enterprise. I still say we've got a good thing going. Well, then I advise you to just start filling those bottles or your good thing's going to go right out the door. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have a bucket someplace. You're right. Oh, Lord, my Weeks of labor and love went into this, and at long last, here it is. The first batch of nectar of Santanko. Taste that. What do you think? I think it's sea grape juice. Well, that's just his maiden name. Oh, sister, if I would have known that the business you were going into was the making of sea grape juice, I would have left you out of my office. What's wrong with sea grape juice? Who's going to buy it? Everybody. How do you know? It's never been on the market before. Uh, probably because nobody will buy it. Yes, but once you and Senor Fierro get behind Senor it... Senor Fierro is a big supplier. He wouldn't stoop to fool around with something like sea grape juice. Oh, sister, I don't want to get involved in this anymore. We had a verbal contract. We said if the product was marketable. Sister, I'm sorry, but I have the feeling that you and the others have been wasting your time. Please, don't waste mine. Is that your final word? It is. <laughs> Naturally, this means you no longer have exclusive distribution rights. Sister Bertrand, you have made a valiant effort, but the time has come to face reality. We were just not meant to be businesswomen. This was our chance to be independent, to do something for ourselves instead of always relying on charity. Sister Bertrand, the first epistle of St. Paul to the Corinthians. And now abideth faith, hope, and charity, these three, and the greatest of these is... Charity. Sister Bertrand! There are several people here to see you about the nectar. But customers! We gave up too soon! Oh, come on, come on! Sister, sister, be careful! Oh, Reverend Mother, I don't even have a paper and pencil. Well, you uh, take the orders, and I'll remember all the names. Good morning, sister. Reverend Mother. Good morning. We have come for our money. Oh, that. It is the 10th of the month. So soon? <laughs> Sister Betru, who are these gentlemen? I think you call them creditors. <laughs> this is Senor Seagrapes, Senor Sugar, Senor Bottle, Senor Equipment Rental, Senor... I don't know who he is. I am from the Lightning Bureau, Sister. I feel it's my duty to tell you, you have to have a license to run a business. We set out to make the nectar of Santanko, only everybody calls it sea grape juice. All these people want their money, but we haven't got it to give it to them because we haven't sold a single bottle, and you call that running a business. <laughs> Trill managed to stave off bankruptcy for a while by giving each of the creditors a share of the business. If this keeps up, it doesn't take a mathematical genius to figure out that the only way we could break even would be to go out of business. Still, there were all those bottles of nectar of Santanco to sell, and Sister Batrill was willing to try anything. Sea grape juice. I tasted it myself. Carlos, we have been friends for a long time. You would not be trying to ease me out of a good thing. Luis, believe me. I saved you from getting mixed up in a losing proposition. Sister Beatrice Folly. Such solicitude on your part. It is not like you, Carlos. You should be thanking me, not insulting me. <laughs> you would not mind if on my way back I investigate for myself? Do that. Then you can thank me. <laughs> Seagrave juice. I was afraid you'd say that. I'm sorry, sister. Reverend Mother. 
and it's very good uh, for sea grape juice. But I'm afraid I can't handle a homemade product such as these. Of course, we understand. Thank you for coming, Senor Fierro. Uh, Sister Jacqueline will show you out. Uh, yes. Sampling the nectar. What'd he say? Sea grape juice. We'll offer him a bigger percentage. Senor Fierro! Senor Fierro! about that sea grape juice. You should know how to improve it. Let me try harder. If you succeed, why don't you send me four cases to start with? Oh, oh, thank you. I knew you'd change your mind. Thank you. Hi, Carlos. We hear you're taking a run to care of Siva today. Yeah, a hey, pleasure trip. Oh, well, do you mind mixing a little of our business with your pleasure? What business? A product to which Senor Fierro now has exclusive distribution <laughs> rights. You mean he has taken on the sea grape juice? The four cases of our first batch. Evidently, he sees something and you don't. Well, evidently, he's seeing things. And if you're asking me to deliver well, these cases... Well, if you cases... don't, then the children have to walk all the way back to the garage where the station wagon is being fixed with those heavy cases and we won't be able to make delivery and we'll lose our last chance to pay off our creditors. Heavy, huh? Very. Okay, put them in the car. Oh, thank you. Up to you, kids. Up to you, up to you, up to you. Up to you, up to you. Buenos dias, senor. Hello, Sergeant. I'm sorry, but nothing to report to customs this time. As you say, senor. But if you would permit a question, what might be in these cases? See, gray juice? See? says Nectar of Santanco. That's another name for sea grape juice? I'll have to examine it. Help yourself. <sighs> you are under arrest. <laughs> for carrying sea grape juice? For smuggling sea grape wine. <laughs> He's in there, sister. Thank you. I came as soon as I heard. Go away! Carlos, you have a right to be upset with me. Upset? I'm furious! Oh. It's a good thing for you and for me that I'm behind bars at this moment. I'm sure as soon as the authorities understand... They understand only that I'm a link in a vast international smuggling conspiracy. They are holding me until they uncover the rest of the organization. Whoever they may be. This is ridiculous. I know I can make them understand that... Oh, please, I... sister, please. Go away. My lawyers will handle everything. Isn't there anything I can do? You fixed it. So I'm in jail. My boat is impounded. My casino is padlocked. Wouldn't you say you have done enough already? I just don't know how our juice could have turned into wine. You... Tell me. Well, Sister Anna says it's a miracle, but I think it must have something to do with fermentation. You know what you should do? What? You should go back to your sea grape farmer and tell him that he doesn't have to be a poor laborer anymore. He can get rich making wine. Maybe I will, Carlos. Thank you. Even in misfortune, you're thinking of others. You know something? You'd have made a great nun. <laughs> it's strange that a nun should come to visit him. Oh, maybe she can get a confession. We could not. 
That wine, was it not labeled Nectar of Santanco? That's where the sister comes from. And you did not see the connection? Sergeant, we are looking for a smuggling ring. I assure you, you do not suspect me. I suspect everybody. But sister, if you only had told me you are going to make sea grape juice, I would have warned you what to expect. You mean you've made it too? Many times. And it always turned into wine? Uh, at first it did. At first? Come, sister, I'll show you. Looks like sea grape juice. <laughs> Smells like sea grape juice. Oh, it just doesn't taste like sea grape juice. <laughs> oh, we'll return the rented equipment. And we'll put the rest back in the storeroom. Oh, it seems such a shame. Sister Betrill meant well. Sister Jacqueline, Sister Betrill always means well. We just have to learn to live with it. Come along, sister. meaning of this? Oh, Reverend Mother, please forgive us as we beg your pardon most humbly, but, uh, uh... What he is trying to say, Reverend Mother, is this is a raid. <laughs> Very well, you may all turn around. And no false moves. Sergeant, you keep an eye on them. Yeah, this is the base of their operations, all right. It is a funny-looking still. Inspector, I feel there must be some mistake. Reverend Mother, you must understand we hold no suspicions of you. We feel that Ramirez has used you as a front. But, Inspector, we're operating a legitimate business. We even had to get a license. Are you in the business of making illegal wine? Oh, well, no. We started out by making sea grape juice, and then we... What's going on here? Uh, nothing much. Instead of mass today, we're having a raid. <laughs> oh, Sister Bertrill, we're so glad you've come. Please explain about the wine. Aha, so Sister Bertrill is the brains of this outfit, huh? Well, I... Tell me, Sister, you admit making this? Yes. Ah, <laughs> good, then you admit making the wine. No. Yeah, Sister, tell me. Is this not wine? Well, I... Um, Inspector, I I'm not accustomed to drinking alone. Won't you join me? I never touch it during working hours. <laughs> However, in the, uh, <clears throat> line of duty, I... <laughs> There's something wrong with the wine? <laughs> it is not wine. It is vinegar. <laughs> Another miracle. <laughs> then you cannot possibly detain Senor Ramirez for uh, uh, smuggling in vinegar, can you? No, Reverend Mother. We must re-examine the evidence against him. I think you'll find that's vinegar, too. Reverend Mother, my apologies. Accepted. Good day, Inspector. Uh, I knew we would be punished for raiding a convent. Sister, how did you know? Well, I just found out why no one's ever gone into the sea grape juice business before. Why? It always turns to vinegar. <laughs> You must be certain to thank Senor Fierro for buying our vinegar. Oh, I'm sure he was glad to be of help. Well, that does it. With a grand profit of $19.75. I told you we could be self-sustaining. Sister, there is the matter of the license. But we already took out a license. But that was a license for making sea grape juice. Now, you must have a license for making vinegar. How much? $20. All we have is $19.75. Mm -hmm. 
I knew it was going to end up costing me something. 